Kiseka Market is renowned for igniting riots in the city. Was under the management of Rhino Investment belonging to Colonel John Mojenyi. Vendors in this market petitioned the president, demanding that they be allowed to manage their own market. This in turn led to the cancellation of contract between Rhino Investments and the then Kampala City Council. Rhino Investment demanded for a compensation of 23 billion shillings, but after negotiation with an interministerial committee, they settled on a figure of 6.8 billion shillings worth of compensation. Now MPs on the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament have again unearthed how taxpayers' money continues to go to waste in a form of compensation that is much higher than the original agreed amount. It is imagined that government paid out 14.9 billion shillings to Rhino Investment for breach of contract in Ikseka market instead of 6.8 billion shillings agreed upon by an interministerial committee leading to an inflated amount of 8 billion shillings. The Solicitor General Harriet Rwabi confirmed to the committee and elaborated how the former Attorney General, Professor Kedu Makubuya, cleared the payment. 6.8 is almost nominal. So they call upon His Excellency the President to intervene and authorize that they be paid an additional 8.1 billion, bringing the total to 14.9. Therefore, I have considered the complaint of Rhino Investments Limited and hereby approve payment of Uganda shillings 8.1 billion to Rhino Investments Limited. So the Attorney General receipt of this letter considered the matter and handled it. Even after an extra 8 billion shillings was paid out, no taxes were deducted from the company. This breakdown is never availed. If it had been availed, certainly we would have recovered the taxes. And can, can a financial manager like you really go ahead and sanction payment without even a blink of the eye? This continuous loss of taxpayers' money drew anger from legislators who vowed to recover the money through the IGG. Honorable members, is this Attorney General is raised in Uganda? <laughs> if he cannot really use the, the laws of Uganda but can afford to use laws of another country, for a civilian taxpayer, a Ugandan, to lose all these sums of money. Now, how much has been lost when our women are dying in hospitals? Our children are not learning well because of lack of money and taxpayers' money is being wasted in this manner. This case comes just a day after the same committee discovered that the city tycoon Hassan Ibasaja Baraba pocketed 142 billion shillings instead of 80 billion shillings he was supposed to receive for loss of business in Nakasero, Owino and Shauriako markets. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.